Today I'm going to show you how I made this paper using watercolor paper and Claudine Helmuth Studio Paint. But my inspiration came from a Somerset Studio Magazine. This is the latest July-August 2009 issue. Now this is a must-have. You've got to get at least one issue because it is packed. I mean seriously it's packed with ideas. There's going to be one in there that you're going to be like, whoa, I can't believe I did that. It's, it's fabulous. Step by step. Well, here's Permission to Play by Christy Heideck. And she gives step by step instructions on how to do these, these painting pages. And I thought, well, heck, I think I could try that. So that's what I'm doing today. And I don't have to make it exact because they give you four free sheets of paper, of her paper, actually that you can rip out and use on your own. So I really just wanted to do it just to try some painting because um, I'm no expert on painting. So I'm going to start off and she used bubble wrap on her paper but I, I don't have a piece of bubble wrap. So we'll use some tin foil and I'm going to use Claudine Helmuth Studio Traditional Tan first of all. I'm going to paint my tin foil. Hang on, just I can't see it. Hold on. Okay. Alright, here you are. So you just take it and paint it on the tin foil. And this is the card you've done is what? Photo carousel size? Yeah, it's for a photo carousel card. You ready? And that's a seven gypsies photo carousel. Sorry about that. No, I think I have a little too much up here. So I'm going to kind of dab it off. I do like that big block. Now I'm going to let this dry for about uh, two minutes. Now I'm using watercolor paper because watercolor paper is going to stand up to the abuse we're going to give it. I filled up my mister with water and now I'm going to spray um, the paper lightly, which is totally fun in itself. And I'm going to add Modern Red Studio Claudine Helmuth paint. Look at this. Talk about fun. And because it's wet, it really goes on easily. Okay, it's dry, about two minutes. Now, the fun part is, I'm taking a regular baby wipe and I'm going to wipe it. And look what happens. The beige shows right through. Now you can see here some of the um, beige is showing through and I used a paper towel just to rub off a little extra on a few of the spots. My next step is to use the multimedium gloss. I used three parts of this so I took a popsicle stick and I put three blobs. One blob of brown, sable brown and that is going to be my next layer which I'm going to use a stencil. I'm going to take this KI Memories paper which I think makes a cool stencil because I didn't have a stencil like the article had read but look that's a good stencil right and we're going to pounce some color on that. I'm mixing this up. When I put the stencil on I want to have some good open spots so I, I like some of those open butterflies because I'm going to stamp after I do this and the spots where it's really large the stamp will show so you'll see that so let's go ahead and start pouncing this is really fun Okay, now one of my favorite pots we're going to stamp. And you need a, an ink that's really going to handle stamping over the paint, even though it's totally dry. Stays on, stays on black. I have a stamp, a clear stamp that's just words. You can use any stamp with words because it really gives that cool effect. And then I'm going to clean it up with my stays on cleaner, which is totally awesome. All right, here we go. Well, you know, once this is done, I think the overlay is as much fun as the actual piece underneath it. And if 
if you're like me, you use all the little pieces that are left, and they, you can adjust the, the, you know, you can do it hard and light so you get like a different look. Sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's not thick. And when I cover it up with my next layer of paint, you lose a lot of this, this stamping, which I noticed last time. I, um, I lost a lot of the stamping, so I'm putting a little bit more so that I can see it because I really liked it. But there's another article in the magazine that talks about just layering paints and, and ribbon and paper and layering, layering, layering. And that's really unique. But I always like the, the one face, so I hate... Okay, let's just get to this. Let me stop talking. There you go. Now, a lot of people would stop right here because that looks pretty cool. And look at this. Look at this leftover. I had to show you that. Isn't that neat? Well, what I did is I did a little layout using my other leftover piece. I took a Seven Gypsies black photo carousel card and I sprayed it with Glimmer Mist Gold. Is that fabulous? I took my leftover little overlay, which has brown now on it and words, and I'm going to glue that on there. And I also have a tag which I, it was just a craft tag and I painted with some brown and I painted with some yellow. I watered it, wiped it off, stamped it. So I have some really unique tag to use and I thought maybe some ribbons would be cool on this page to put in the photo carousel. But let me finish up this piece. I'm going to now put yellow pastel paint, add a little bit of white to that and I'll brush it over. So let's check it out. Okay, now I take a paper towel, and you can't tell, but it's all blubbed up. And look, I'm going to remove some of that ink, tap it in the dots where it's really heavy, and then I'm going to rub to get, to get tapping. Let's just rub. Ooh, it's like a surprise underneath. And you can also use your baby wipe, which I'll probably end up doing for where it's thick. So let me get another baby wipe. I feel like I'm just ruining the paper. It's very interesting. You're just rubbing away. The nice thing is it also takes that paint mark off. It doesn't look like I used a paintbrush over it. Ooh, look at that one came through nice. I'm going to rub a little here. To... Oh, I like that look. Let me get a little more on this side. That's where I'm going to be trimming it. And then this is ready to trim. I'm going to trim it like I did this one. Take my Seven Gypsies punch, punch the corners, and I've got a two-sided photo carousel card that was really fun to do.